are you allowed? We have been talking about the photo to meet certain requirements. But if you go to the diversity visa lottery instructions, it is clearly stating that this is from the official Department of State, from the instructions for the diversity visa lottery, that use of a photo taken within the last six months, don't use, don't use the photo which has been taken longer than that. It has to be within six months. That's number one. Obviously, they are not going to know if you are taking the long, old, old photo, but don't do that. Do not reuse photos from the previous entries or you'll be disqualified. Don't use the photo you used from the last ESDV lottery application. That is part of the DV lottery instructions. If you do that, you are going to put yourself into the harm's way. I don't mean that it's a guarantee you are going to be denied. I've seen some people who have been denied. But I've seen some people who are attempted to apply with the previous developmentary photo and they won. But that doesn't mean that right now you have to take that chance. Don't take that chance for the going to do something which you know for sure you are going to be denied. Instructions are very, very important to follow. Make sure that you take, use the photo which are meeting the requirements. And some of those requirements, if you go to the instructions, they're like this way. It has to be in a digital form, not a PDF. It has to be in color. You have to be in focus. You have to look like you're being in focus, not out of focus, those kind of things. Don't wear a uniform taken within the last six months. Plain white background. You have to face the camera. Neutral expression. Not like, hey, cheese. No, this is not a cheese moment. Taking, taken in clothing that you normally wear on daily basis. Meaning, don't start like, I have to wear a tie suit. Like, I, I mean, if you wear on daily basis, it's okay. Like, but it's not. they're not going to do that way, whatever. Don't wear the uniform unless otherwise is part of something you wear on daily basis as a religious reason, not as just for work purposes. Don't wear a hat, don't wherever those kind of things. So those are the things you they, they, they are going to make sure that it has to be in JPG or JPEG format. It should not be more than 240 kilobytes, not exceeding that. It has to be a square ratio. Dimension, pixels, it has to be 600 and 600 pixels. Those are the most important things you need to make sure that you understand. Do not submit a photograph other than, uh, other than six months. Or do not submit a photograph that does not meet all the requirements which I've described below. Submitting the same photograph that you submitted with a prior year's entry. Don't do that. Because that photograph, or even a photograph which has been manipulated, too much digital editing, too much, you will be likely ineligible, not eligible to win the DV lottery. You will be eliminated in that way. So the photograph is everything, people. So don't assume, oh, because last year I, I went to the studio and I paid maybe $3 and I got them this nice photo. I'm going to reuse that photo. Yes, you can win. I used my nephew one, one year and the following year I used the same one because I didn't have any photo, whatever, but the person won. But don't take a chance. Don't go to take unnecessary chances which you are likely to be eliminated in that way.
How many times are you allowed to apply for the diversity visa lottery? How many entries are you allowed to submit? Each person will be allowed to do one application. I'm talking as a main applicant. Ernest Boniface Macurillo, I'm the main applicant I apply. But if I go and do application, and then after doing the application, I come to find out, instead of maybe writing the correct date of birth, I put a wrong date of birth. Instead of a month, I put date, and the day I put a month. Maybe I, I made, uh, all the year I, made, I mix up the year. Or I come to find out, when I was doing the application, I put the incorrect place of birth. Or I put incorrect spelling. Or rearrange of the names from the last name I put in the first, middle, whatever. I put it that way. No matter what mistake you have done in the DV lottery, don't you try to go again in the DV lottery application form to do another application. That will be considered as a duplicate application. How do they know that is a duplicate application? Very simple. They have a face recognition software which will be able to use to determine you as a main applicant, not as a, as a dependent, no, you as a main applicant. So don't, no matter what mistake you've done, once you submit the application, it will give you something that says uh, your application has been successfully submitted. It will say success. You'll be given the entrance name, last name, first name, whatever. It will give you the confirmation number, your year of birth, and the digital signature. So that confirmation number, you have to print it out or you have to take a picture of it and save that confirmation number. And even if by mistake you didn't save, it, gone, it went away, whatever you click by another button, it went away, don't go and start to uh, try to find a way. Say, okay, let me do another application so that I can get the confirmation number. If you lose the confirmation number, whatever it happens, wait until the results, you'll be uh, find a way to retrieve your confirmation number. But remember, each person is one application. Don't make a chance of losing the green card just for the mistakes which are avoidable. There are so many things, once those mistakes you do, you will come to make them, you will come to correct some of the mistakes after winning the DV lottery. So each person is one application. But a husband will be allowed to apply and to put the wife. The wife will be allowed to apply as many applicants to add you, husband, as dependent. That is not a duplicate application. The main applicant is applying once. That is how it's going through that way. So no matter what, don't apply more than once. So those are some of the things to pay attention to. Okay. There are questions, other questions about so many other things. I'm not going to start responding to some of your comments yet because I have so much questions. I want to cover these questions first and then I'll go to your questions and I'll be able to, to answer them. Okay. Let's go to another important question. <clears throat> 